Hello, welcome to Unreal Engine 4 board game tutorial series. Today we are print string dice result and peon moves on the screen by using widget. Let's get to work. Create a widget and name as UIWBP. Open it. Drag and drop a text to canvas panel. I want to see dice result on top of screen, but this anchor aligned on left corner. Set it as middle top and name it dice result text block for changing content of this text box. We have to make it variable by decking. Now we can write down in here whatever we want in game. Drag and drop another text box and set it middle top. Name as peon move text block. It will say which peon goes which number and make it as variable. I'm going to make them larger a bit and add some outline. So the text will be more readable and delete their content. Because we are going to make content by blueprint. Go to graph panel and create a custom event and name as change text. Get dice result text block and peon moves text block. Call set text from them. Bind them together. No, we need to fill this text places. Add a append function and bind it. Add one more pin to append and type space goes to space to middle pin. Add another append function to set text. And type dice result is to first pin. Create a variable string and name as pins. Make is array. Compile it and add two array element. First one will be white peon. Second one will be black peon. Get peon array call get a copy and bind it. Now we need to peon's destination number, which we calculated in level blueprint, and a dice result which we getting in dice blueprint. So we have to communicate with those blueprints in some way. Create dice result integer variable. Peon number integer. And t toll dice ruled integer. Bind them like I did. Now we need to set this variables from level blueprint. Open level blueprint. On continuation of event begin play, call create widget and choose UIWBP in class. Promote variable on return value and name it properly. Always make time for naming. If don't, thing may get confused later and add player screen and bind nods. Now we can reach UI's variables easily. Let's move them to left a little bit. We are going to need some space in here. Get the UIWBP ref and set dice result reference. Bind with AI move to. We have already dice result in here. So copy and paste dice BP and get dice result integer from it. Bind them. We get dice result from dice blueprint. Remember we are setting an integer after dice has stopped. Set peon number integer from UIWBP reference. Get peon number integer from dice reference and bind them. Now we know which pawn has turned to move. As you see we have two total integer for every single peons. So add here switch on integer. Bind them and two pins. Zero for white peon. 1 for black peon. Set total dice result twice from UIWBP references and bind on switch. And get total white peon integer and bind on 0. And get total black peon integer ending on 1. Now we have to call this event at the end. Call change text from UIWBP reference and bind them together. Let's see. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.